this, my friends, fellow councillors, party activists, senior civil servants, this is what we are gathered here to prevent. Thank you. The papers on your chairs. After you've read them, it will be helpful if you could swallow them in good spy fashion. I have good news and I have bad news. The good news, there are an awful lot of Conservative voters in Westminster. <laughs> the bad news, there are also quite a few Labour voters. The two are very different. Hard-working, prosperous and socially responsible, Conservatives are the backbone of this great city. They are homeowners and professionals with a genuine stake in the borough. They appreciate what it means to live here. In short, they are exactly the kind of people we, in the Conservative Party, should encourage to settle and vote in Westminster. The Labour Party draws its support from people living on council estates or in private rented accommodation. The bed and breakfast brigade. And from the homeless. Labour voters, as we all know, tend to be feckless, indolent and transient. They are often unemployed. Unemployable. And generally irresponsible. Why else would they vote Labour? <laughs> A Labour councillor once told me, yes, I do sometimes talk to them, that his party draws its support from the poor. And luckily, he said, the poor are always with us. Well, not in Westminster, they're not. Not if I have my way. Which she always does. Especially not in the marginal wards where the votes can make a difference. What did she say? The rolls for the next election will be compiled in two years' time, so we need to crack on. Some very ambitious policies must be implemented before then, which I have decided to call Building Stable Communities. <laughs> These policies will be aimed at eight key wards. Doctor. Millbank, Victoria, St. James, West End, Bayswater, Cavendish, Little Venice, Hamilton Terrace. These are the marginals. The magic eight. The wards we must win to keep Westminster conservative. Our goal is to produce an electorate in these wards that is homogenous, harmonious and socially balanced. Likely to vote Tory. Pay attention, that's the whole bloody point. Our first problem is homelessness. Now, as we know to our cost, Westminster has a disproportionate number of homeless people. They pour into the borough, use our services, drop litter, expect us to house them, then vote Labour. So, we shall take a hard line on the homeless. What do you mean, a hard line? We're going to get rid of them. Boot them out! Mm, then sell off the properties we have to provide for them to more suitable residents. You are talking about people, not litter. You can't just tidy them away. What if they don't want to move? Well, we shan't give them a choice. We'll export them. Export them where? Wherever their votes won't count. Safe Labour wards in Westminster, Labour boroughs outside London, any ward that isn't marginal. You know what this is, don't you? Conservatism. Thatcherism. It's jerry-bloody-mandarin. That's what it is. 